different characters. Even the simplest form of hieroglyphics, demotic hieroglyphics, had 450 symbols. The result is that not everyone could learn to read and write. The result was that there was an elite who were literate, the cognitive elite, the knowledge class. And the result was you had hierarchical societies of rulers and ruled, of power, people with power, and people who were powerless. Those who were literate and those who weren't. The second revolution in information technology, the one that changed the world, was the invention of the alphabet. The alphabet was invented only once in history. Every alphabet that exists is either a direct or indirect descendant of the first alphabet. The first alphabet, called by scholars Proto-Semitic or Proto-Sinaitic, was Hebrew. The earliest inscriptions, 338 centuries ago, were discovered in Serebit in the Sinai Desert by, in 1903, by the English archaeologist Flinders Petri. The first alphabet was Hebrew. That is why it's called the alphabet of the People think that Greek was the first alphabet. Greek was invented a thousand years after Hebrew. And is based on Hebrew. Aleph, Beis, and Udal become Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta. Greek was the first alphabet with vowels. But it was not the first alphabet, that was Hebrew. And the result was a total revolution. The whole of 